Faker on the Udyr mid lane. If that is not a video worth watching that I don't know what is, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Russian cast. Today we are going to have a look at a game played on the Korean server by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Hyde on Bush. Apparently still selecting items. As no, we are going to be running Doran's Ring and a health potion. No, we are not. We are, yes, we are. What? Hi, my name is what? Hi, my name is what? My name is who? Okay, so we're going to be starting off with an Aurelia for the blue team in the top side facing off against the Frogger, the Tam to the Kench, the Unbenched. Then in the jungle for the Irelia, there is going to be a Lee Sin, and for the red team, there is going to be a Silas. Then we have Faker facing off against Faker. There is going to be actually a Lee Sin, as Nidalee is the jungler for the blue team here. Blue team bot lane. Oh my god. Zeri and Zillion. Facing off against them, Karma and Jin. Gonna be interesting. Okay, as Faker will place an early ward to spot out Nidalee. Move in. As right now, we have taken our ultimate here. Yep. Yup, yup. Alright, so right now, yeah, so I understand why you would pick this. This is obviously... In top lane, we've seen this a lot. The AP Udyr being able to just pressure in these champions. And obviously melee champions like the Lee Sin are obviously going to suffer from the strategy a lot. I'm expecting mages to be able to deal with that a little bit better, especially stuff like Azir. Probably going to be pretty good against it, Silas. Also, I'm not expecting to have a lot of trouble with it, maybe. All right, good ultimate proc. Very strong trade here by Hide on Bush as he has his W skill second. So starting off with the Cryo Phoenix stance, going then into the Iron Mantle. She haven't seen these names ever good trades here for faker as a gank is coming on into the top lane the kench stack still not full but now they are as who beautiful flash by Aurelia as she will take down the silas good job <laughs> thank you very much silas oh my lord dude all right second point into the cryo phoenix also called Wingborn Storm, I guess. Alright. So the gang coming in here on Hide on Bush. Ghost is going to be available, but the Sin Q does connect. No slow available. And the man, the myth, the legend. Will find himself actually almost go down to a Nidalee Spear. Nidalee laying chase and she will take down Faker as he went right in as a good disciple of Trick to the Morfuggin G. He went, can't catch me. Hey! And uh, died in the process. Which, uh, you know, sounds Trick to G to me. Karma pulling the wave, being a good guy. Now, probably going to move into the bottom lane here together with Silas. Alright, Zeri. We are out of position. Oh, never mind. We can just slide out. Mm, Nongshim Auto. Alright. That is one taken down. Zeri. We'll just watch. Just watch the old man die. Hog. Alright. So, we have another heavy trade here in the mid lane. And honestly, Lee Sin is kind of doing fine. Lee Sin flash Q will miss. And Faker will take down his lane opponent for the first kill. Unfortunate situation. Honestly, a good try by the Lee Sin. But it didn't work. Damn freaking work. And obviously, mid lane currently such a strong lane. That you can you can just play stuff like this. And honestly, it doesn't matter. Because stuff like Silas, for example, right? Playing him mid lane, 
versus playing him in the jungle, you feel how much weaker you you are in the mid lane with freaking. Ooh. With freaking Everfrost, then. Silas, please. Please don't die. Please don't do it again. Silas. On the approach. Kench has been unbenched. No flash available for her this time. As the E will connect, and that is Silas going in and taking down a revenge kill. Alright. Faker. Heavy trading onto the Lee Sin. Lee Sin able to sustain himself very well, though. So, that was... That was a little bit of a scary situation, Nidalee. We'll barely not find him. Blazing Stampede and on the ultimate. Obviously, the Volley Bear stance is picked up as well. Just obviously... It's, it's called Wilding Claw. What... What are you say? What are your words? What does that mean, Wilding Claw, dude? Huh? So that's a fantasy name if I've ever heard one. There's a little bit of a skirmish here. Udyr very good in these 2v2 skirmishes. Ghost has been popped, so he's running circle around the enemy team. No stun available, though. No more. And uh, it seems like we've just come to a gentleman's agreement to just... Collectively attack the wave as aha! You have been scammed, ladies and gentlemen. It was not a gentleman's agreement all along. As Silas and Faker will take down two. Ah, beautiful. Alright, and that is the glorious Udyr working out. Running Ionian Boots of Lucidity first. I'm going to give him a lot of movement speed to just run around. So we will take down. Oh, this is very interesting. Another cannon for ourselves. D2 CS. And as Lysina would be kind of mad. I would be kind of mad because... Let's be honest. You should be winning this. You should be winning this just purely champion based. But you haven't played it well. And that feels really bad. It's down in the bottom lane. Zeri still ahead and farm. As, uh, yeah, I mean, this doesn't really matter. Nidalee will find Jin. Decent damage out of Nidalee, but she has to retreat as... Yep, yeah, that is absolutely... Oh my god, that is... Oh no, the game is... I mean... Uh, the kills on Zeri this early is very bad. Hmm. Questionable trades, honestly, by Faker. I mean, it ended up working out. Interestingly enough, he isn't going for Demonic Embrace first. Isn't that a mistake? Don't you just go Demonic Embrace here? I'm pretty sure you do. Because this doesn't give you anything. I mean... Given the fact that you don't have a lot of effective HP. I think Demonic much better here. No? I don't know. Jin will find the Nidalee. Will take down the Nidalee. Will not pet the Nidalee. It's Faker. Getting a favorable trade under the turret and now... It's looking real bad for Lee Sin as he will probably have to recall here. Ooh, another kill on the Irelia as well. As no double bomb will hit. Which means Jin will get out with his flash. Mm, gotta be careful not to get kicked, Faker. Yeah. You can't. Lady bitch. <laughs> I sorry, but I have to. I have to add the trick to G sound effects, as Faker will obviously not do them himself, and he will go down eventually. <laughs> ah, beautiful. All right, man. Back in the day, hey? The chick to G times. Ay, ay, ay. I wonder what has become of this guy. I have to stop. Just stop tracking him. Alright. 
Lee Sin and Nidale will take down the dra dragon, which was, that was a very weird smite. That was like a hundred smite. It is what it is. It's Faker. That's a very incremental, very slight gold lead here. Still no item available for him yet. So, yeah, not really anything uh, worth mentioning. And this is the problem with pushing in someone. Dude, Faker seems so weird in this game. Like, I don't know, his movement is still there, but like, like, macro wise, I feel like he's playing so weirdly. Like, running into Lee Sin kick stuff. I don't know, very weird. As the double kill goes over to the Nidalee. That's not good. It's also shut down. Oh, beautiful combo by Lee Sin. Will get... Well, we'll get Faker into trouble, but not quite take him out as Lee Sin is able to take out Faker. Questionable ultimate out of Jin. The W will come out though, and that means that Lee Sin just able to safeguard to the Nidalee. Unfortunate. Mmm. Mmm. The Kench has to bench himself back to his turret. Yeah. He does so elegantly. Will defend his control ward as well. With his tongue! That's not a sentence you hear every day. Zary. Now taking the final plate here. Well, I guess there's one plate available technically, but I still call this the, fi the, the last plate. Fight me. On this. Is this the last plate? Or is this the second last plate? Tell me in the chat. What do you think? But I'm so bad at driving engagement. Ah, it's such a bad YouTuber. I just want to be a good caster, man. I don't want to... I don't want to be a good YouTuber, clickbaiter, freaking... Just want to... Just want to be able to cast League of Legends games well, but... Obviously. Also want to be serving the product. As one plate goes over to Faker, the second one. With a nerf of Herald a couple of patches ago. Will not take out all of the plates. Faker Ghost will be available. Yeah, Lee Sin Kick is kind of irrelevant at this HP point. As Zeri will be taken down here by the Silas. Was greeting for the final plate. Or for the turret. Or however you want to call this. Double bomb has been denied. Faker. 100 CS at 13 minutes. Not the best number, but, you know, he's also playing a melee mid laner. And I, so far, I'm not feeling the Udyr. Like, so far, I don't know, man. But I really would love to see him try this. Yeah, just gets himself out with the face rush. I would really love to see him try this with a Demonic Embrace first. I think that should be much better. Aurelia just goes down. Good night, sweet princess. Goes down to the tongue. So that's a movie you don't want to watch. Mm -hmm. Karma. Will be able to live. Ooh. Nah, he's beautiful ultimate out of Silas. As we are moving into the side lane, since the turret has gone down. Which marks the point of Zeri rotating into the mid lane as well. Jin has already found himself in the mid lane. Zeri actually going back down. As Lee Sin obviously not in this... Uh oh. Silas. You're in trouble as Nidalee ultimate will get her to safety and Silas will a be able to live barely. Takes down the... Oh, no! Dude, Silas just took down two enemies 
just because they were greedy. Baker has arrived at this point as well. We'll be taking down the Zillion as well as the stun. Does not pop Zeri out of her. Yeah, Baker, you are going a little bit too deep as the Zeri ult. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is such a not fit. Like, was it late night when he when he uh, picked this? I, I, I th This isn't the only game I casted, by the way. I casted another game. And then I, I, I looked for replays. Th this was the day before today, by the way. Um, I looked for replays online and I realized that Midbeast had casted game had had casted that previously previous game as well. So I guess this is another Ulya replay here out for everyone. Um, but the thing is, right? No double bomb. The thing is, and this is this is my this is my problem, is I think you could play this pick a little bit better. Radiant Virtue coming out of the Udyr. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. As we are going to be taking the Heralds here as the red team. Silas obviously miraculously surviving and then just giving himself away to the Zeri. Not the best of looks, but still made him very strong. And very strong he is. Yeah, Silas in the jungle is just such a different beast. As Faker will stop Irelia in her tracks. Yeah, no damage available for her as well as she only has Blade of the Ruined King at this point in the game. Ooh, Zeri in position for a strong fight here. The Extendo Beam will find the Kench. No E has been pressed. Azeri, power sliding away. And yeah, trying to mess, but like, you have to be very careful here still. Oh my god, Zeri, you are absolutely bonkers. This Baker will find himself caught here. Ghost. And yeah, he will be able to live. For now, Lee Sin looking for a good kick target. Hmm, the Iron Mantle. That is the skill name that I was looking for. Good. I gotta learn those Udyr skills. Gotta learn the names. I'm expecting Udyr to pop up a little bit more in the future, as obviously he is one of those disgusting tanks. As a beautiful damage out of the blue team, though, taking Tom Kench down almost. Nidalee ultimate available for Silas. That's not too good. As, yeah, this is definitely... Definitely the blue team's jungle as a red team. Yeah, not looking too good, man. Four, five, and one, the Udir. We are finally going to get the demonic embrace. I still think demonic embrace first, and he he does more damage. But that's all. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm trolling. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. It's gonna be so hard to touch the Siri. I, I don't know how I don't know how the I, I don't know how the red team wants to do this. I really don't know. Stand to be more miss. But the Zeri definitely starting to play very aggressive here. Right? She's feeling herself. We'll go back to the base, though. As Faker will just be sitting in the side lane and trying to roam to the plays, I guess, right? Aurelia knows that she is the hunted. Faker will push a wave. Silas. I don't even think it matters. I Killing Aurelia doesn't really matter at this point, so I don't know why Silas... I guess you wanna take down that turret. Makes sense. Some Kench will go get himself out with a flash. 
and my new damage dealt by the Jin is Irelia yeah, in it's going down again but it does doesn't matter it doesn't really matter so yeah like obviously we are getting good stats but that seems to be about everything so obviously yeah I guess with the Herald charge we are getting two turrets here the turret raiders are back at it again faker taking down the next wave and should probably leave Silas found a flank here on the blue team as Zeri will dodge his chains and that is Silas in a lot of hurt Silas will go down to whatever that damage was karma flash but where are you flashing says Nidley as she takes down her seventh kill 400 gold shutdown on her name and Zeri still alive to be fair it got pretty close but still absolutely hor horrific situation TK in a lot of trouble the kick yeah, he will go down Jin unfortunately not really able to do anything as he does negative damage at this point beautiful job by Lee Sin as he will pick up the Jin for himself nothing that Faker can do Dude, that was actually really good job. It, it really well done by Lucid. Oh, bye! Lucid will be alive. Faker now running down the Nidalee. Will she be able to escape? Yeah, yeah, she will be. Silas takes down the Lucid though. I don't know what exactly is happening, but Silas is taking down Zeri, so that, <laughs> that is what's happening apparently. As now, blue team will get themselves to safety, except Irelia, who just seems to be... Yeah, it was a, it was a valiant effort, but, you know. She, Irelia just seems to be in a weird mental state. Let's put it, put it that way, right? Be friendlier to, to her. Put it that way. Everyone else was leaving and she was like, nah, nah, I can 1v5 this. Yeah, Irelia. You have two items. None of them being mythic. I'm sure you can. St aye, aye, aye. Can. Literally. Fishing. Mm, can't, can't fight the Silas, though. Can fight the Silas? Wants to fight the Silas. Mm -hmm. We'll blow her flash in the pursuit as the Jin ultimate dealing negative damage once again. I don't want want to point it out again, but this build is absolutely useless. As now the enemy team getting chased down here by the Zeri, who will take down Uder for a, a double kill, Jin for a triple, and that is going to be Silas going down as well. No quadra kill for Zeri, so no penta available. Uh oh. Mm, good job by Nilly. <sighs> this Zeri is absolutely huge. This Zeri is on fire. Okay. Sorry. Well, Baron's still available, which means one turret will go down here indeed and the dragon obviously goes down as well subsequently to the blue team here Aurelia has managed to take down a turret here as well so that is two Baron value was okay but the random skirmish in the jungle value much much higher Nidalee still Ooh, the Lucene kick onto the Silas. Silas will be saved by TK. But TK also delivering Aurelia right into that weaker... Mm, belly of the red team. And that is Jin going down once again. With this absolutely useful build. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is, it is not looking good, is it? Lily needs to get this kill. 
Really needs to get this kill onto the support. Really needs to get it. Yeah, she really needs it right now. It is necessary for her to get it right now. And so far, she's progressing well. <laughs> Nearly watering. Down over to Faker. <laughs> Says thank you very much. <laughs> Nilly, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god, this feels like such a late night game where it's like Faker couldn't sleep. He's texting his old mate Uder, you up. Oh my god, I'm still waiting for the for him to whip out the Master E mid lane in a pro game. Because honestly, Master Yi mid lane is a strategy that does work right now. Sounds weird, but there is this Master Yi player who plays him. And uh, it, I mean, it works out, you know. He goes in heavy trades on the waves and then just double use, right? And just chills. And then he just like that. And just out trades people with that W. So... Sounds great. Honestly, so sounds like one of those strategies. And it is one of those strategies. Zeri is an absolute union unit. No very quick blade will come in. Zeri ultimate. And she will kite out Faker with no problem. As actually very early ultimate out of the Zillion. But probably one of the longest chains I've ever seen. Coming out of... The Silas, I mean, look at the man's face. Of course, he has a long chain. Yeah, it's not looking good. Jin support in the AD roll. Definitely not helping out with uh, the whole, you know, losing the game situation. Uh, dude, like, I want to. I wish I could see Jin damage, because Jin damage is just negative at the moment. And yeah, this will be the blue team just taking over. And honestly, I blame Jin. The hell is this build? GG. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.